If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 2-in-1 Elite Series 77 review on the brand new Elite 77 Ronda Rousey and AJ Styles, and I'm excited to get into these. I figured these would be the next two in the set, and after this, we will be reviewing Viscera, Rick Rude, and Miss Elizabeth all-in-one, as well as ranking Elite Series 77, so you definitely don't want to miss that video. Probably will be posted tomorrow, so I'll probably do a double upload tomorrow on top of this double upload today, so stay tuned for that-ish. But today, we got Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, and AJ Styles. We're going to dive into the review, guys. So starting out with your front viewing window, I love this packaging. I like the orange, white, and blue. It really contrasts well with the SummerSlam logo. I think this is from SummerSlam 2018, and this is from SummerSlam 2019. I could be wrong about that. But spinning around, you have a beautiful image of Rowdy, Ronda, and AJ Football Styles there. On the back, you have the same image as well as a little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it right now. Rest of the figures in the wave, another image of the two on the sides there, and that is pretty much your packaging for these guys. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and crack Rowdy Ronda and AJ Styles out of their packaging. So here is Ronda Rousey and AJ Styles out of their packaging. Looking pretty swell. It kind of looks like they're a tag team or something. They're kind of matching in their gear right there with all the red and black going on, contrasting all well together. I know Ronda Rousey has some yellow and gold in there, but I, I, you leave me alone, all right, Brad? So here we have AJ Styles and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. You guys know how the reviews work. We're going to dive into Ronda Rousey's accessories first and then take a closer look at Ronda Rousey, and then we'll run the thing back and take a closer look at AJ Styles' accessories and AJ Styles himself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into Ronda Rousey's accessories. So for Ronda Rousey's accessories, guys, you don't get very much. You get her little kilt design here that I guess was inspired by Rowdy Roddy Piper is what I'm guessing. That's why she wore it to the ring. She had the leather jacket like him. That She had the kilt like him. It's got some good details on it. It is rubber and it goes around her waist and just clips in the back like so. You guys already saw it on the figure. And then for interchangeable hands, she comes with fists out of the packaging and then she comes with mic holding hands with her little hand gauntlet things. I don't know what those are for. And then she comes with a Raw Women's Championship, which we have seen 152 times in the past. You don't get a leather jacket. You don't get anything like that. No interchangeable head sculpts with this one. And that's pretty much it, which I kind of feel like is lacking on the accessories. You get I, I mean, I guess it is a title in this little accessory, but I guess maybe a cloth leather jacket. Maybe like the DX leather jacket that we got with the Attitude Era Triple H or something would have been cool. But I'm not deducting football points. Still a pretty solid figure thus far. But that pretty much does it for the accessories, guys. So let's dive into Ronda Rousey herself. So diving into Rowdy Ronda Rousey, guys, you will see by the head sculpt, I'm pretty sure this is the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey head sculpt, but repainted. I could be wrong about that, but it looks the exact same. You got the dark eye makeup that she had at SummerSlam that year. I think it looks pretty good. You know, I'm not going to compare it just because, you know, we've already seen this head sculpt. I think it looks just like her. It's the same exact head sculpt, except it has the dark eye makeup. You got the signature mole on there, the Rowdy on the top in the black with the gold and red. Spinning it around, she is not like the Ultimate. She does not have double jointed arms, which, you know, sucks, but, you know, it's not an Ultimate Edition. You do have the black top, like we said, ponytail head sculpt. You got these yellow paint going on on the wrist bands, which, I, again, I don't remember what exactly those are, but she did wear those when she was wrestling. On the side, you do have Rousey right here with the black and the yellow and the red. I really like the way these shorts look. I think they make the figure look good. She is on ball joints, if you guys were wondering if you wanted to do a switch or something like that. She does have double jointed knees, which is just a new addition pretty much now for the women's figures, which makes them so much better. Like, oh my god, she's freaking amazing now. And into the boots, she does not have the toe pivot or the ankle pivot, or she might have a little ankle pivot. She actually might have ankle pivot. It looks like she has a little bit of an ankle pivot. She does not have the toe pivot, though, that we see with the Ultimate Edition, but if you wanted to convert this into an Ultimate Edition, you might be able to sw simply by switching out the legs at this point right here, switching out the boots, or switching out the arms with the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. It just won't have the yellow details, but I like this Ronda Rousey figure, man. I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely better than her other Elite, which we are going to get into when we compare it, and let's go ahead and do that now, guys. So with that being said, take Taking a look at Ronda Rousey herself, let's get into some Ronda Rousey Elite Figure Comparisons. 
So for your Ronda Rousey Elite figure comparisons, guys, you do have the Elite 77 here in the middle. You have her first WWE figure here with the basic on the right. You have the Ultimate Edition and then the Elite 65 Ronda Rousey. And this one was her last Elite, and this one is just not good in my opinion. I like the head sculpt. I like the idea of having, you know, a leather vest, but these legs were super wonky. They're single jointed. The ankles were super loose, and it doesn't even have, like, ankle articulation. You can't spin this. There's no rotation here. It is all in the leg. So if you wanted to do this, it turns the entire foot. These feet get super loose and they're super small. So if you try to stand her up, it is actually very difficult and her legs are so stiff and she'll just face plant out of nowhere. So this is a definite upgrade from the Elite 65 to this Ronda Rousey. I'm really impressed with this Ronda. I'm super happy to add it to the collection. And her first figure, her head sculpt simply was not there. I feel like, you know, looking bad at it, it, it looked okay, but they definitely have better Ronda Rousey head sculpts than this one. And it has that bra mold under the t-shirt. The legs are super stiff. This one actually has ankle rotation, which is kind of crazy. The legs are kind of stiff and hard to stand up with it. The arms are single jointed and have that like new arm mold. So standing up next to the Ultimate Edition, I think it is uh, a pretty good battle right here between the attires and the head sculpts and everything. But at the end of the day, the Ultimate Edition definitely wins because it is double jointed arms. And I mean, I don't know how you can beat that. I feel like it may be, I don't know how much the, Ronda, the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey goes for nowadays, but if you can get that for a deal, then I would definitely, you, you have to get this. This is one of my favorite figures Mattel's ever done. And this one's really good too. The only thing preventing it from joining this company is double jointed arms. May have to buy a second Ultimate Edition Ronda to do some switcheroos or something on action figure surgery to get the black attire with the makeup going. But that does it for your Ronda Rousey Elite Figure Comparisons. So for AJ Styles accessories, guys, you do get two interchangeable rubber accessories for the shirt. You get his vest that I'm pretty sure we've seen this many a time in the past. I think this thing has been coming with AJ Styles for a while now, over a couple of years. P1 logo on the back as always. No special designs. I don't know if that is accurate to the actual match, but out of the packaging, he does have his signature glove, AJ Styles P1 hands, and then he has his mic holding hands, which are a great color. I really like the color they chose for this flat red. And then he has a rubber t-shirt, which is sleeveless and it is the OC with their little samurai logo. You get some Japanese lettering on there. The OC on the back with the little three clips. Mattel has been giving us these rubber shirts since the beginning of time and you know I'm still waiting on you know them to discontinue these but I guess we're going to continue to get them. I mean I understand it. Some people like them. Some people hate them. I feel like most people do hate them. They're very hard to get on the figure most of the time. They're usually too oversized and I think everybody would agree to have cloth only but sometimes the budget won't allow it and I understand it completely but that doesn't for AJ Styles accessories guys so with that being said let's dive into AJ Styles himself. So for AJ Styles guys we have seen this head sculpt before we actually got it a few series back in the Elite 74 AJ Styles where we did get him in the lime green attire just like that figure he does not have chest hair he does have the AJ Styles tattoo of course on his left arm he has the P1 armband which looks good the red gloves which we touched on look really good I am proud of the way those came out that color really fits nicely on the P1 logo on his elbow pad it does have it in red, so that's very nice. I like this belt logo they got going on with the red and white. With That, that white trim really contrasts well off the black, and I know that's what the attire looked like. The only thing I'm going to say is you guys already know, another black attire, AJ Styles. This is, the, this, this is not the first, and it probably won't be the last of the black AJ Styles. I know everyone wants a red attire, AJ Styles. They want the colorful attires, and we keep getting the black ones, so hopefully the next one will be a red elite. I know a ton of people want to see a red elite. You got, you got the OC over here with Japanese lettering and on the right you have that same samurai logo with black and silver and white. These trunks came out really clean. Like I actually like the designs and everything with it. Got the Japanese lettering here on the right knee pad. Nothing on the left. And then his kick pads are mismatched which I don't know why he did that for this show. But this is pretty much an Elite 51 AJ Styles kick pad without silver lining. It has white outline and then on the right kick pad you have the red and white phenomenal with the white outline and the red going on phenomenal down the side there and that is pretty much it for the AJ Styles figure but I know as well as you guys you want to see the comparisons between this AJ Styles and the other ones so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into some elite AJ Styles figure comparisons. 
So here's your AJ Styles Elite figure comparisons, guys. We have the last Elite release, and it was the Elite 74 right here with the same exact head sculpt. You guys can see the differences in the attire. Out of the two, I actually like the Elite 74 better as far as the attire is concerned. It's bright. It's nice. It is very similar to the top talents in the back there, but it is lime green. It's just a very bright attire that I really like. And then if we remove the Elite 74 and we take a look at all of the different black attire AJ Styles that we've had, Elite 47, Elite 51, we have have the top talents, the Elite 66, and then the Elite 61. All of these black attires. We have had six black AJ Styles attires released out of all of his elites. I don't know how many we've had. If you add the Network Spotlight, the Elite 56, the two-pack elite, and then you have the top talents, and then you have the Survivor Series elite that released as a Walmart exclusive. Like 80% of his figures have been black or blue, so that's just, you know, that, that's what it is out of like 12 different figures. We actually ranked all the elite AJ Styles figures. If you guys want to check out that video, I, I love doing the ranking videos. You can see how all of those fare against each other. But that is pretty much it for all of your elite AJ Styles figure comparisons. Give us a red attire, please. Preferably WrestleMania 32, but yeah. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite Series 77 review on the Elite 77 Ronda Rousey and AJ Styles figures. Guys, I would recommend the AJ Styles if you missed out on the Elite 74. I'm not exactly sure how much he goes for nowadays. So if you want an updated AJ Styles to put around your figures, I know that the OC, Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson aren't even in WWE anymore. So you may want to not get it for that reason. You can get the Elite 74, but this head sculpt is really, really nice. You can do some cool fix-ups with it. We are going to do some fix-ups with it on action figure surgery. This Ronda Rousey is really nice. It's definitely her best elite to date. It is not her best figure, however. I would recommend the Ultimate Edition over that, so depending on price point, this may be something you want to get, unless you're a massive AJ Styles or Ronda Rousey fan. But overall, if you'd like to pick up any of these figures, guys, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. They are having a July 4th sale right now, 4th of July sale that you want to get in on, and you can use MD Toys as your promo code to add an additional 10% off if you'd like to do so. But that is going to do it for the 2-in-1 review, guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We are going to rank all of Elite Series 77 on top of another video, which will either be a ranking video, the Battle Royal, or something else. So definitely stay tuned for it. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on these figures down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.